31 essential .NET interview questions and answers. Fundamental .NET concepts. Question 1. What is .NET Framework? Answer 1. .NET Framework is a software development platform developed by Microsoft for building and running applications on Windows. It provides a consistent programming model and a comprehensive class library that simplifies application development across various programming languages like C-Hush, F-Sharp, and Visual Basic. Key features include Common Language Runtime, CLR, Language Independence, Extensive Class Libraries, Cross-Language Integration, Managed Code Execution. Question 2. Explain the difference between .NET Framework and .NET Core, .NET 5 Plus. Answer 2. .NET Framework, .NET Core, .NET 5 Plus. Windows-only cross-platform, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, monolithic modular and lightweight, slower release cycle faster, more frequent updates, limited open source, fully open source, older legacy support modern, performance focused. Question 3. What is Common Language Runtime, CLR? Answer 3. The Common Language Runtime, CLR, is the virtual machine component of the .NET framework responsible for managing code execution. Its primary functions include memory management, garbage collection, type safety, exception handling, security enforcement, code access security. Question 4. Explain the concept of managed and unmanaged code. Answer 4. Managed code. Executed under the management of CLR. Automatic memory management. Garbage collection. Type safety. Language. C-Hush. VB.NET. Unmanaged code. Directly compiled to machine code. Manual memory management. No built-in garbage collection. Languages. C. C++. Requires explicit memory allocation and deallocation. Question 5. What are the different types of .NET applications? Answer 5. Console applications. Command line based. Simple, text based interaction. Ideal for utility tools and backend services. Windows Forms applications. Desktop GUI applications. Event driven programming. Traditional Windows client applications. WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation, Applications, Modern, Vector-Based UI, Rich Graphics and Animations, XAML-Based Design, ASP.NET Web Applications, Web-Based Applications, Server-Side Rendering, Support for MVC and Razor Pages, ASP.NET Core Web API, RESTful Service Development, Microservices Architecture, Cross-platform support. Question 6. What is the Global Assembly Cache, GAC? Answer 6. The Global Assembly Cache, GAC, is a machine-wide cache for .NET assemblies. Key characteristics include Store strongly named .NET assemblies Shared across multiple applications Allows versioning and side-by-side -side execution Located in C colon backslash Windows backslash assembly Object-Oriented Programming in .NET Question 7. Explain Inheritance in .NET Answer 7. Inheritance is a fundamental OOP concept allowing a class to inherit properties and methods from another class. C-Sharp Base Class Public Class Animal Public Void Eat Derived Class Public Class Dog Animal Public Void Bark Question 8. What is polymorphism? Answer 8. Polymorphism allows objects of different types to be treated uniformly. To main types, compile time polymorphism, method overloading, runtime polymorphism, method overriding. Question 9. Describe abstract class versus interface. Answer 9. Abstract class can have implemented methods, single inheritance, can have constructors, can declare fields, interface, only method signatures, multiple interface implementation, no constructors, cannot declare fields, before CHUSH 8.0. Question 10. What is encapsulation? Answer 10. 
Encapsulation is the mechanism of hiding internal details and providing a public interface. C sharp, public class bank account, private decimal balance, private field, public void deposit, decimal amount, public method, balance plus is equal to amount, advanced dot net concepts. Question 11. Explain delegates and events. Answer 11. Delegates are type safe function pointers that reference methods with a specific signature. C sharp. Public delegate void print delegate. String message. Public class printer. Public void print. String msg. Console dot right line. msg. Question 12. What is generics? Answer 12. Generics allow creating type safe, reusable classes and methods that work with different data types. C sharp. Public class generic list T. Private T. Items. Public void add T item. Question 13. Describe link. Language integrated query. Answer 13. Link provides a consistent query experience across various data sources. C sharp. Var numbers is equal to new. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Var even numbers is equal to numbers dot where n is equal to n percent 2 is equal to is equal to 0. Question 14. What is async await? Answer 14. Async await enables asynchronous programming, improving application responsiveness. C sharp. Public async task string fetch data async. Using var client is equal to new HTTP client. Return await client dot get string sync URL. Question 15. Explain dependency injection. Answer 15. Dependency injection is a design pattern for achieving inversion of control. C sharp. Public class user service. Private read only use repository underscore repository. Public user service. Use repository repository. Underscore repository is equal to repository. Memory management. Question 16. How does garbage collection work? Answer 16. Garbage collection automatically manages memory allocation and deallocation. Identifies unused objects. Reclaims memory. Prevents memory leaks. Generations based collection. Question 17. Value types versus reference types. Answer 17. Value types stored on stack. Directly contain data. Examples INT, float, struct. Reference types stored on heap. Contains a reference to data. Examples class, interface, delegate. Error handling. Question 18. Explain exception handling. Answer 18.NET provides robust exception handling mechanisms. C sharp. Try. Code that might throw an exception. Catch. Exception X. Handle or log exception. Finally, clean up code. Question 19. Custom exceptions. Answer 19. Developers can create custom exception classes by inheriting from exception. C sharp. Public class. Custom exception. Exception. Public custom exception. String message. Base. Message. Database and web development. Question 20. What is Entity Framework? Answer 20. Entity Framework is an ORM, Object Relational Mapping, framework for .NET. Simplifies database interactions. Supports various database providers. Code first and database first approaches. Question 21. Explain ASP.NET Core Middleware. Answer 21. Middleware components in ASP.NET Core process, HTTP requests and responses. C sharp. Public void configure. I application builder app. App.use routing. App.use authentication. App.use endpoints. Endpoints is equal to. Endpoints dot map controllers. Security. Question 22. What is authentication versus authorization? Answer 22. Authentication. Verifying user identity. Authorization. Determining access rights. Question 23. Describe JSO Web Tokens, JWT. Answer 23. 
JWT is a compact, URL-safe means of representing claims between two parties. Performance Question 24 How to improve .NET application performance? Answer 24 Use async await Implement caching Optimize database queries Use lazy loading Profile and benchmark Design patterns Question 25 Common .NET design patterns Answer 25 Singleton Factory Repository Strategy Observer Testing Question 26 Unit testing in .NET Answer 26 Frameworks MS test N unit X unit Question 27 Mocking frameworks Answer 27 Mock N substitute Fake it easy Microservices and modern .NET Question 28 What are microservices? Answer 28 Architectural style of developing small, independent services Question 29 Docker and .NET Answer 29 Containerization for consistent deployment across environments Cloud and modern development Question 30 Azure and .NET integration Answer 30 App services Azure functions Blob storage Cosmos DB Question 31 Blaze WebAssembly Answer 31 Client-side web UI framework using .NET and WebAssembly Conclusion Mastering these .NET concepts will significantly enhance your interview preparation and overall development skills. Additional tips for interview success 1. Prepare examples Have specific examples ready from your previous implementations or projects. 2. Stay updated Keep current with the latest .NET releases and features. 3. Understanding business impact. Be prepared to discuss how .NET solutions can impact business outcomes. 4. Technical depth. Be ready to dive deep into technical details while also maintaining a high-level perspective. 5. Problem-solving approach. Demonstrate your analytical and problem-solving capabilities through specific scenarios. Before we wrap up, if this video helped you, smash that like button and comment your top takeaway.